All right, I'm Borden Creek Trailhead, Bankhead National Forest, Sipsy Wilderness Area, and I am going on my first solo overnighter. Yeah! So a lot of this is going to be trial and error since I've never done it before. Probably only got about an hour and a half of light left. And we're going to explore someplace I've never been. So uh, we'll see how it goes. But it's going to be rad either way. Because I'm doing it. So this is a multi-trail junction. Borden Creek. 207 and 203. This is the way we might be going. Yeah, that looks wonderful. First time I've ever seen that gate open. Guess there's no reason anymore. Let's keep it closed. This is Borden Creek. We're going to be heading down that way. That goes up Bunyan Hill. God, I love it out here. Well, let's go walk this unmaintained trail. looking at it on the map kind of looking to do a little bushwhacking but not too much I just want to get somewhere pretty and set up shop so I've never been down this trail before and here we go all right here's the crossing to 207 uh, I think we can do it All right. Going up there, yo. Well, the trail is a little bit better than I imagined it would be. It's pretty straightforward. Looks like there have been some people through here. Hopefully I won't come across any of them. Anyway, what we're following here is supposed to be a Brazel Creek. I think that's how you say it. See a little bit of the sun left coming through there. Well, at least I have the stupid camera to talk to. Huh, almost kind of looks like someone's, uh, Debris shelter. Looks it all just fell that way. We have a lot of firewood. Yeah, I guess you could make that work, but not tonight. Cool. There's a big tree. Wanted to show you all this neat little grass area. Just kind of out of nowhere. It's neat, it looks peaceful. Wow. Oh, got more sun than I thought we did. Hello. Big ass tree. This 
still a lot of green everywhere. Usually won't come out here until all of this is dead. You can see the forest through the trees and whatnot. Not the mighty hemlocks, they stay green all the time. Whoa. Well, I ended up settling on this spot after all. Walked up about 10 minutes further up the trail. I think I heard some people up there knocking down wood. Probably the guys I uh, came to the parking lot just before me, but I really dig this trail. View the creek, gonna get some water, maybe cook me some ramen, just have some water on standby just because. It's a shame I couldn't find any waterfalls or uh, bluffs with water coming out. It hasn't rained in a couple days, but uh, this place has some good tasting water. I don't know about the creek. It looks pretty clean. I'm going to filter it and boil the shit out of it, if I even need it. Got a little path down to the creek, that's good. Well, damn. I guess I'm gonna make me a fire, y'all. All right, <clears throat> one more tour around the campsite before it gets dark. It's getting dark fast. It'll be on that side of the tree. I haven't seen any ticks or mosquitoes, but the spiders are still out. Just the big, vicious ones.
Oh, the last bit of light is fading. Oh. Got all my stuff. First time in a tarp shelter. We'll see about that when something crawls on my face in the middle of the night. But it sure beats hauling the uh, heavy tent. I'll say that. I think my wood situation is going to be fine. There's plenty around. I don't have nothing left to do but listen to the bugs. For lucky, you might be able to hear an owl or coyotes. All that awesome stuff to hear when you're out in the middle of nowhere completely by yourself. Eh, it's alright though. I'll just go into predator mode on that ass. So, because I'm a cheapskate, I'm gonna be this dude. Except, not in water but in the middle of the wilderness. I've checked out the uh, Climate Static V. It's around about 50 or 60 bucks, and uh, this was $4 at Walmart. So uh, <laughs> if it lasts the night, it was worth it. But we'll see otherwise. Just as a backup plan, I brought stupid workout yoga mat. Be better than nothing if this thing fails. And that douchebag. I'm gonna say it's a it's a fair bet I'm gonna have a hard time falling asleep tonight. <laughs> With all the noises and then uh being exposed. I know people do it all the time. This is something new for me. What I've seen. It looks like it's something that's on my level. I just have to uh, try it out, right? Right. Well, if I hear any critters, we'll pop you back out and see if we can catch them on the, uh, on at least the audio side of this. Look at that guy. He's freaking huge. Yummy. All right, I'm gonna put you somewhere you can go get into trouble. Oh, good morning. I actually slept last night thanks to that inflatable pool float thingy. Ugh. It's about 8.30, the sun's starting to come through the tops of the trees. Awesome, I'm gonna try to get the fire going again to warm up and pack up and head out. Ah. Oh. Yeah. That did it. I lived. Well, it's about 9.30. And the damnedest thing is happening. I just can't leave. The uh, sun keeps coming out more and more. Let me know how freaking awesome this place is. And before I knew it, I'm uh, starting the fire again. Well, I mean, it was kind of freaking chilly this morning, so uh, that's why that happened. But I keep feeding it, slowly putting stuff away. But man, I don't, I don't want to go. Wonder how mad my wife would be if I just didn't come home. Probably freak out and have the rescue squad come out to find me. 
because I couldn't make a call. But I'll probably get going here within the hour, but man, I really do like this.